What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's ProBJ and welcome back to Life is Strange 2. Now I don't remember where we left off, I really don't, I'll be honest. Um, oh, all I do remember is a church? Is that where we left it off? The church? Oh, feel that cold air. Uh, it's making me play through this again. I'm gonna have to fast forward and I'll catch you guys up. So if you guys remember from last time, um, so we found Daniel, he's in this weird convent town thing where everyone's really churchy. And, um, they're treating him like a miracle because of his powers, so he's disclosed his powers. But it looks like they're using him to kind of get funding for their church or whatever. So, uh, I don't know how this is gonna play out. And God bless all of you. Amen. But he does not look happy. If you look at him right now, he does not look happy. Hopefully we can get to him, though. Hopefully. As our reverend said, we do appreciate your kind donations. And of course they're gonna donate because they've just seen him fucking raise a cross off the wall. I mean, I know that he's angry at him, but like, I can't blame him. He's on his own, he need to find some, some way to survive, so... It's kind of nifty, actually. It's kind of, uh... He's kind of fought ahead, which is kind of funny. Because, uh, he doesn't have a lot of... That's the thing. Sean does not have a lot of confidence in him. And does not think he can hold his own. But it looks like he can really hold his own. Oh, we're gonna get found here. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, hi. I saw you out in that parking lot earlier. Yeah, that was me. That was me. Oh. <laughs> We can see the whole room, and it's where a reverend mother teaches us classes. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. You okay? Need some water? Uh, and no, sorry. I'm just kind of sick. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that's too bad. <laughs> kind of sick. Oh, is this gonna... I don't know. I don't like where this is going. Is this gonna get into like a whole he can cure everything because he's a miracle boy? I feel like that's where this is going. What's yours? Hello, Sarah Lee. My name is Sean. Good to meet you. By the way, can I ask you something? Are Daniel's brother? Really? Yep. Always talking about you. Hey, uh, not too loud. Yes, I'm Daniel's brother, but I need some help. The Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. What do you okay. need? Okay. Um. Can you take me to Daniel? So, can you take me to Daniel? Oh, yes. He's gonna be so happy when he sees you. He missed you so much for his birthday. Aww. It'll be like a late surprise. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think this is going to get dicey. Oh, God. Daniel, you're the living proof of their faith. And mine. I know you understand. I guess... I mean... Sean? Oh, my... Sean! <laughs> you came back! You've grown up in Anna. Do I look older? Yep. What? You also kind of look like Mo from the Three Don't Stooges worry. with that bowl cut, but it's whatever. Okay. Did that happen at the farm? Because of me? I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Aww. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I forget it. Not your fault. It wasn't your fault. I should have. It's okay. Does it hurt? A little no. bit. But it makes me Not look butch. Shut up. 
it's different. Yeah, you can say that again. Couldn't help but couldn't help but do that I joke. You were dead. And it's okay. We're together now. Yes. So, are you gonna stay with us now? Huh? I. We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But. We Gotta stick to. to the plan. We have a new home now. Oh, uh, she's step at a time. She's Daniel, not gonna like give me. Give Sean a chance to process this. I'm sure this is all so overwhelming. By the way, my name is Elizabeth Fisher. We all prayed for your safe return. Sean, yeah, good on you. Thanks, you must be I guess. Now in our Lord too. Sure. Mm, kind of. Daniel told me you had faith. That's how you got here. But first, I need Sarah Lee and Daniel to grab the medicine kit. We have to take care of our new guest. This oh, is a God. place of healing. Aww. Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel? Now. Okay, Reverend Mother. Let's go, Daniel. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Oh, here we go. It's a pleasure to meet you. This is a real blessing today. You don't you like me. Daniel for quite a while. She doesn't like me. Of course. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. So what is your plan, Sean? This is a blessed family. And it would be good for Daniel to have you oh, by his side. Oh, fuck off. Here we go. You're going to give me the, you're going to give me the thing now. Going to give me the preach. Uh, we're sticking to the plan. Here with Daniel. Yes, yes, I know about this reckless journey. Ah, uh, here we go. I'm his family. I'm his family. Two young boys are not a family. Mark three twenty-five. If a house is divided against itself. That house cannot stand. Oh. Daniel sounds more like a prison. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate churchy things. things that way. God After damn it. everything I've done for him. Ugh. I know why you're scared, Sean. That's because your heart's full of sins. Mm. I've heard about what you did in California. How you pushed your brother into felony. Oh, this please. This is a terrible sin. And until you make penance for it, I can't accept you here. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry, my son. I'm not your son. And Daniel isn't gonna be your golden cow. Daniel, come on! Why don't we ask him what he wants to do? Do not touch me! What the fuck? Oh, you faker. What did you do? Nothing. Enough. You spilled blood in the Lord's home. Sean, what happened? Your brother came in here, impure and acting like a criminal. But oh, he, no. he saved Daniel. I'm sorry, Sean. She's right. Oh, right. come on. Then, when you're ready, we can. She's trying to manipulate you. Let me lead you to the one true light that never goes out. I want to be your friend. <sighs> Let's get out of here, Daniel. I want to stay. Just go. There's your answer, Sean. We're together again. So we can go. Oh, right. no. Get off me, dude. What? Daniel! <coughs> Let me go, <laughs> asshole! Daniel! They're not your family. Stop it. You just need to have faith. Oh, I hate churchy people. Daniel, it's okay. God damn it. Daniel. Oh, Jesus. Satisfied? Now don't you ever come back. Please hit him. Get up. Kid, don't make me do this. You're not gonna win. 
Oh. What the fuck, man? Daniel! Daniel! You're pissing me off. This is private property. Holy shit. I have shit. a legal right to stop any intruders. Like you. I just want my brother. But he doesn't want you. Oh, he doesn't know what he wants. This He's young. Is where he's staying. Next time, I will not hesitate to use this. Well, looks like you're gonna have to, Chief. Get out of here. Daniel, hey! Daniel. Uh, who's this? Karen? Oh my god. I won't get him back like this. What? Let's go. What? His mother lives. What? What? Jesus. I did not expect that. I expect I actually expected her to be at the end of the journey, like the Porto Wopos or wherever they're going. That's where I expected her to be, man, not here. Sean, what happened to your eye? Why the hell are you here? Yeah. How did you find me? Well, um, I got a letter from uh, Jacob. Ah. Missing. And that Daniel needed help. I believed him. <laughs> so you finally decided to check on him. You know, Sean. Sooner or later, we're gonna have to talk. Yeah. Just go point. Where are we even going? I already have a hotel room. You're gonna need to rest and clean that dressing. Yeah, it's a little bit uh, on the hinky side. That's actually my. I did not expect her until episode five. That's crazy. I'm guessing they're gonna like. Is this gonna be like the setup for episode five? Like, uh. They talk and stuff, and then episode 5 is getting him back. Well, this isn't weird at all, just weird silence while this dude showers. How are you guys? Uh, <laughs> right, yep, yeah, right up. They like a weird shower scene with teenagers, don't they? They have one like Life is Strange 1. Damn. It's got bruises like everywhere though. Eesh. It's been through the wars. So to speak. Okay. Those are some uh, interesting pajama bottoms there, son. Man. How are you walking there, Chief? Damn. You look bad. Yeah. Gotta change that dressing soon. So, do you actually lose the eye? Like, I'm so. I'm kind of interested to see. Man seems to be on the move quite often. I'm interested to uh to know whether or not that eye's actually like just gone or what or what happened to it. I mean, I know what happened I to how it, long but like Karen has been here. This country is just way too big. Yeah. Karen was always into low tech. 
I even think it's the one she had back then. Eh, of course it was. This thing is killing my back. I got bruises on my bruises. It's what happens when you're traveling all the time, my dude. All right, what else have we got? Church flyer. So Karen did check it out. Wonder if she saw. Oh. The Limited seats, twenty dollar donations. See the miracle boy. Oh, I hate that. I'm not a fan of people using that kind of shit. Kind of pretty. For people, like just to get profit. Wonder if she made it. As much as I. I'm not a fan. I know of, I shouldn't peek, but of religion. I'm glad to know she learned the lesson. Um, as much as I don't like religion, like I always hate people using shit like that Karen for her own road trip to get here. For um, for profit. Wait, what does that say at the bottom? Turning forward to look back, making the same choice twice, twice, my solitude days and dreamy nights, just to find myself looking forward to turn back. Okay. Damn. Whoa. Karen does like to capture the world around her. Tracing closer every mile, my heart goes racing, sore. I remember knowing the feeling. There's no fighting back that beating, tearing apart my core. Early morning blues, coffee, red-eyed truckers and sad families. Bad eggs. Not the waitress's fault. She's a quick, hurried one. Probably ending a long night shift. Wow. 2017. And young folks are still busy making babies. I guess nothing ever really changes. <laughs> eh, I like that one. That one's funny. Alright. Uh, Alright, I, I feel weird that I just went through her shit. Huh. This isn't her tablet. Okay. What does it say? Struggles with too many open apps, but should be okay for basic browsing. Password is blah blah blah. Hope you find your son. Alright, one, one, two, seven, zero, eight. Yay, technology. She came Oh, back. wow. Whoa. Wait, where is it? It's got to be here somewhere. They've got to be promoting him. Where? Where's the? Where's the name? Where's Daniel? <laughs> oh, actually, nothing on him. Wow, I'm surprised. I'm very surprised. Okay. No, how do I? No, I don't want to keep reading it. Stop it! Karen's a note. What does it say? Be right back. Popped oh, out for now. supplies. I'll grab some food in case you want to eat. New socks and shorts in the bathroom. All yours if they fit. Might be a good time to contact Jacob. His number is on the letter he sent. Be right back. Okay. Jeez. It only took Supermom eight years to give a shit. Dear Mrs. Diaz, my name is Jacob and I worked with your son Sean Daniel at a farm in California. There were some problems and Sean went missing. I'm with Daniel now at Haven Point, Nevada. He gave me this PO address. If you get this, I think Daniel might be in danger. He needs help to get out of here. I can tell you more if you contact me on this number. Please hurry. What a good man. Like, at least he went to the effort to make sure that he was safe. So. I mean, kudos for that. Karen was always into low tech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to use the phone? I even think it's the one she had back then. 
No? He's going to stare at it. Okay. Oh, no. Fine, there. Let's go him. Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way. Yeah, way. From you for months. So you, you found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait. Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon. Oh, okay. So he's in with them. Alright, that's my in. That's how I get in. Jacob, wait. I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. Alright, that's the plan. Go stick to the plan now. Real shit. Real talk. Oh, the Holy Bible. Oh. No, put that away. All oh, this is so messed up. I'll take the casino token, why not? The Holy Bibble. I'm sorry if you're religious, by the way. I, I, I'm really not. <laughs> I'm not. This isn't just going to be me shitting on fucking religion for the rest of the uh, the game. I just have a, I have an issue with people using shit like religion to make a profit. If she comes back, that's my big issue. All right, come on. Let's progress the story forward a bit. Hey, sorry it took so long. That's all right. Packed. How are you feeling? Oh, are you? <sighs> Nothing broken. Alter boys don't fight fair. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. Alter Double boys cheese, don't fight fair. No onion. Right? Huh. You remembered. That'll do. Ain't hey, nothing like some awkward silence. And uh, antibacteria stuff. Okay, Your thank eye. you. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean. I do. <sighs> I mean, Come you do on, have to Karen. give people a second don't chance, man. Hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple years ago. Yeah, there's some lost time to make up for there. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. Yeah. <laughs> That's a little bit How of a pressing issue. I have alone on the road for that long. Dad told us. Dad taught me responsibility. He always wanted us to know how to take care of each other. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know, I don't have to answer your questions, right? Oh, okay. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did and why. If you Okay. Care. Here at, here at. So, ask me anything. Why'd you wave? All right. Hit it with the big question. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years, but I wasn't happy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? Yeah, you it's kind of a life. kind of a cop out answer. Love, you made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. 
After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. Felt like an empty shell. That's rough, man. It was the hardest. Shit just got real. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. Dad knew? Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. He was heartbroken for months after you left. Years. I was too. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not. Yay, he was pretty damn good. Got to give him that. From the equation, yeah. I was. What are you doing here? So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona? Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Guess I found something there. Fair New enough. New York didn't really do me good, so... Okay. Yeah. Real chat. Okay. Real chat. Okay. I think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years... I fooled myself, thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. Yeah, I understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. I know. I know you are, Karen. It still doesn't change the way I feel. Of course not. I know I can't change the past, Sean. I don't think you would. I need some air. Bit of a moony teen. I was just like, is he gonna get spotted and like the cops are gonna be called now? Is that what's gonna happen? Hope not. As I said before, I, I appreciate the quiet moments in this game. I really do. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. All right. Let's just get it all out in the open. See what happens. Real talk. Ooh. Fuck it. So, did you ever actually miss us? Or dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. Hell yeah, he did. He could brighten up a rainy day. <laughs> it was like his superpower. He was a good man. Above all, I miss watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I miss sharing these moments with you, Sean. We used to do so much stuff. I want him I to. Be, I want him to be open. I don't want him to be hostile the whole time. Or when we went camping near Vancouver, just me and you. You always loved night skies. I did stargaze a lot when I was in California. Trust me, the further south you go better it gets it's kind of nice that they now have this this moment what did you do so, what did you do when you left where did you go I pursued some dreams and failed oh well. the lessons got to try 
Got to aim. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does Ouch. to a lot of people. And I totally respect Calm that. down, dude. Damn, the hostility. I wasn't good at making plans. Which is what most Do I really look like a guy with a plan? School, job, <laughs> marriage. Ask my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules. Hmm. Their faith. Oh, I tried. But I wanted to find my own way. With no security blanket. Religion. Social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Was it worth it? Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I've found my place in the world with like minded people. Hmm. I'm at peace with my fuck ups and my decisions. Hope someday I can get to there. Peace? How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband? And your kids. I know that's hard to understand. A little bit. I think people should know who they are. Not fake it for anybody. All right, I'm done with the questions. <sighs> Whatever. You sound so careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. That's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. Fair enough. So, what's the plan? Ask hey, for one. Um, mind if I bum a smoke? Sure. Still got a few left. Mm. Wow. I haven't seen that lighter in ages. <laughs> Dad loved that thing. I know. Only thing I have left of his. It's nice when they have these kind of quiet moments, and it's kind of nice they're finally reconnecting a little oh, bit. Man. Esteban hated when I smoked. He didn't want me to die an early death. <laughs> Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. I remember he would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much, but when we did... I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. And then we'd just look up at the sky and watch the stars or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same thing with my best friend, Lila. Smoking on the porch, just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together, hmm. shut the hell up, and watch the universe do its own thing. Well, true words have not been spoken. You do kind of miss these calmer moments. And that's why I keep saying, like, I enjoy these calmer moments a lot more. Because it really grounds the game a little bit. It makes it feel more human, instead of it just being on the go all the time. Again, I'm surprised that she's back so early as well. As I said, I was expecting like episode 5 to be when she appears. But apparently not. Is it just looping? 
Oh. We should go back inside. I was like, it's just sleeping. I gotta change this dressing. Okay. Let's go. Sean, I know I can't change the past. Or what I did. But this is about helping your brother. And you can change the future. You gotta be part of it. One time. I know. I know. It's still hard. But yes. We have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. Already did. He knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Nice. She's a good thinker. Okay. Good thinking ahead. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? Uh, sure. Yes. Thanks. So, you feel like telling me the story here? Uh, not really. <laughs> gotcha. We still haven't seen it. That's the thing. I don't know whether we will. How bad is it? Must be pretty bad if they're not showing us. Right? Oh, is this the stingy one? Doesn't phase him. Here, try this on. Oh god, he actually lost the eye. Like, fully. Okay, I just saw like a glimpse of it there. Damn. And now you look like a pirate. Great. Thank you, Karen. Big day tomorrow. So we should get some rest. You actually look like a pirate. <laughs> I'm ready to get Daniel. Hell yeah. Alright. So now we're heading into what I'm guessing is the last part of the episode. But we're going to do that next time. Because I want the great escape and the great rescue to be in the its own separate part. Hopefully to round off this episode. We should only have like one part left. So uh, it's going to be interesting. It might be a longer episode next time as well. But anyway, we're going to leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not already. Guys, helps me out a lot. There are links to social medias in the description box. And as always, if you like what I do here, you want to see more, make sure you check all the links in the description to see more. But thank you guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world, and until next time, I'm YouTube's Pope JN. peace out.